Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is OneSkill and welcome to the show! One of my subscribers, Domo, after watching uh, my first video on drop-down menus, has asked me if it's possible to create a drop-down menu using only one slide. Because in my original presentation I was using nine slides. And I thought to myself, man, this maybe it's not possible at all, but after a while I accepted the challenge and you know, it is possible. And today I will show you how it's done. So as you can see, there's actually nothing so much special. There's just a few photos on top of each other and some elements that make up the drop down menu. Okay, so let's start with a blank slide. And below you can see some beautiful photos which you can find on unsplash.com. Let's copy this photo and this will be our home page photo and let's paste it onto the second slide. Let's select the header from the first slide and paste it here. Now the first step that we want to do is we want to create this clickable link. Okay, so we want to create this guy and it's pretty easy to do. Just go to insert tab, select rectangle to tool and draw a rectangle. So I have filled it with black color and set the transparency to 50%. Type inside anything you want. So a few more adjustments. Okay. And now with the help of uh, combination Ctrl D, you can duplicate this rectangle. So you'll have two rectangles. So place them on top of each other and drag of one of them down and this will be our base for the drop down menu and make sure that uh, text is aligned to the top now let's set the transparency to 50% as well for the drop down menu base Let's drag the let's drag the drop down menu base a little bit to the right so that we can select the first rectangle, duplicate it. And with this guy, we will make a few menu items which will lead us to specific photos. So I'll go faster over here because I was thinking about different colors, but then I understood that white color will be sufficient type inside anything you want anything that shows what kind of photos you will show now let's draw a close button which will be an X so once again grab a rectangle tool so I have made a thin white rectangle Let's zoom in a little bit so that we can see what we are doing. So select this thin white rectangle. You can make it either, either thinner and with the help of shift arrow keys you can make it smaller and thinner. Just try it out. It's cool shortcuts. So select uh, this rectangle and rotate it 45 degrees. Make a duplicate, flip it horizontal, select both of these sticks and align them to left and to top. Select both sticks again, merge shapes, union, and this will make a one object out of these two sticks. I think it's easier to have one object and place it at the corner of the drop down menu. 
And now we are finished with the graphical elements of the drop down menu. Now let's look into the magic. So this is the magic in the first slide. So as you can see, here's a bunch of animations which have their own triggers, stuff like that. And I will explain you what these all animations do. So first two animations, they're responsible for hiding these uh, two photos of fox and mountain. Okay, so I have added disappear action to both of these photos. Because when we start the presentation, we don't want to see those photos. We want to see those photos only when we click on nature or animals. And these green actions, they are responsible for dropping down the menu. So for making the drop down menu visible. And they are triggered by clicking on the photography link. And when we click on the X, X is free form 25 in this case. When we click on X, X triggers the close animation for the whole drop down menu. Okay. And here you can see specific animations for menu items. So for nature item and for animal. And these animations they just make specific photo visible and others are closed so <laughs> it might sound complicated but we will do everything blah, 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 everything right now step by step so let's get started so let's paste all of the photos into the second slide so that we'll have all three photos on one slide So let's delete slides three to five. We don't need them anymore. So select all of the photos and make sure that they are perfectly aligned to your slide. And now send these two photos to back. Now select the home page photo and send it to back as well. So that home page photo will be at the bottom level and those other two photos will be on top. Now select the photo, this photo of a swimmer. Uh, first of all, let's place the drop down menu at the corner. So it looks a bit nicer. Okay. Yeah, so now, now select the photo of a swimmer, go to animations. Go to, go to animations and select disappear action. This will make sure that this photo will not be visible when we start the presentation because we want this photo to be visible only when we click on swimmer so we'll make it later now add the same disappear animation to this photo as well and make sure that both of these animations start with previous which means they start automatically And if you ever want to check what is the name of specific element, like what is the name of this X? So just select that element and add any animation and you will see the name of that element. It's pretty easy. So let's drag for a few seconds this whole uh, drop down menu to the right so that we can see our first uh, rectangle uh, select all of these elements that make up the drop down menu and let's add a fade animation which will be triggered by rectangle 
7. And rectangle 7 is this first uh, rectangle that we have created, this photography at the left corner. So boom, when we click on photography, we get our drop-down menu. So select once again all of the drop-down menu items. Place it back in place. And now we will have to make a close animation. So let's make sure that we have selected the drop-down menu elements and let's add fade animation which will be triggered by clicking on the X button. So let's see what we have. We click on photography, drop down menu opens, so click on X, drop down menu collapses, click on photography, opens, click on X, collapses, and so on and so forth. So it's working. Hooray! We've done something useful. <laughs> Okay, but it's not over what do we have to do next so let's look into the first slide what we have done here so now we want to add actions to specific menu items so it will be triggered by rectangle line so when we click on waves the waves photo will appear okay and we want to make sure that the picture number two disappears when we click on waves okay start with previous duration 0 25 seconds okay so let's see what we have just done <laughs> photography waves hooray click on X okay so still we have to do some things uh, when we click on x i mean when we click on x in the drop down menu both of these uh, photos should close as well so we should add one more fade should add one more fade animation to this photo so add animation fade and yeah select with previous duration 0 25 seconds and place it in this uh, section this is the section where animations happen when we click on x so we go to waves and if we click x you can see that wave photo disappears together with the drop down menu so it makes sense yes as well we have to make sure that when we click on x the photo of a swimmer closes as well so just drag it where it should be Okay, now let's add animation action to the to the swimmer menu item. So as you can see, you have to really know which rectangle is which, <laughs> because rectangle eight is. I mean, rectangle twelve is the one with the swimmer text inside it. So. When we click on swimmer uh, it will make the picture with the swimmer appear and at the same time it will make the picture with waves disappear so yeah 
<laughs> Sounds really easy. Waves and swimmer. Waves, swimmer. Close and everything closes. Waves, oh, swimmer. Waves, swimmer. Waves, close. Hooray! So, as you can see, it works, but it's it might be a little bit complicated for you in the first in the first time when you do this, but it's not that hard. If you do it once, you will know how to do it the second time. So, yes, the answer it is possible to create a drop down menu in one slide, but you have to play a little bit with all those animations and all those triggers. And it might be actually a little bit easier for you if you're doing the drop down menu the first time. It, it should be easier for you to do uh, it with more slides, like in my first video with the nine slides. But if you are more advanced PowerPoint user, of course, you can try to do it on one slide. And yeah, it looks cool. So thank you for watching this, <laughs> I think, a little bit complicated tutorial, but nevertheless. I wish you a great day and see you on my next video. Good luck.